everyone, welcome to MS Moves. This is the second video in a series about walking. This video focuses specifically on knee control. The equipment that you will need for this includes a mobility aid and a safe corner. Muscles involved include our quadriceps muscles, our hamstring muscles, calf, as well as our glutes. You might be wondering to yourself, do I have challenges with knee control? What characteristics might you feel or observe if you have difficulty with knee control during walking? Some individuals, when they take a step and bear weight during that single leg standing phase of walking, might experience a knee buckling forward. Other individuals might experience when they take a step and they bear weight through that leg, that the knee hyperextends or snaps backwards. If you experience either of those, these exercises might be helpful for you. Let's go ahead and begin to explore some exercises that could help with knee control. So in order to do a number of these standing exercises safely, I would recommend setting yourself up in a safe corner, back to the corner, walker or chair in front of you for safety. The first exercise is the standing calf raise. Feet shoulder width apart, Come up on your toes and slowly lower down. The goal of this exercise is to really emphasize the lengthening and strengthening required of the calf muscle during that stance phase of walking. You may have noticed the modification in the corner, which allows you to complete the same exercise but on one leg. The calf muscle does cross the knee joint, which makes it really critical for helping to control the knee forward and or backward movement. The next exercise is the standing calf stretch. So not only do we need good strength, but we need good mobility of the calf muscle. Hands positioned against the wall, step one leg back, the more involved leg, heel down, knee straight, lean in towards the wall till you feel a nice gentle pull through that calf muscle. Please prioritize the more involved or affected side for these exercises, but also remember, there's no harm in doing this on both legs. Great job, and relax there. Go ahead and switch legs, heel down, knee straight, lean forward till you feel that gentle pull. You will find a distinct difference between the less involved side and the more involved side. You are also welcome to repeat the stretch on the involved side or more affected side versus doing your uninvolved side. Great job. And relax there. The next exercise is the mini squat. Please return back to your safe corner with your mobility aid or your chair. Feet shoulder width apart. Shift your leg to the more involved side and do a tiny squat down and push back up. I want you to go just short of full knee extension, especially if you're someone who experiences that snapping back of the leg. The modification of this would be to do the same exercise but in a standing single leg position. Slow and controlled, really allowing your leg to get straight but not locked. Engaging those glutes can also help with that control. Nice work. Switching legs or continuing with your involved side for a second set, here we go. Shift your weight or single leg, mini squat up and down. Really put the pressure through the heel of your foot, keeping that knee aligned with the toe, squeezing that glute to help engage those additional muscles during that coming upward extension movement of the me. Great job. Very tricky, but very important. Relax. Moving to standing quad stretch. You can do this against the wall with your shoes on. Rest your entire foot up against the wall. Squeeze that buttocks. Nice tall posture using the mobility aid for assistance as you need. You really squeeze your buttocks and tighten your your tailbone, you'll feel that deeper stretch. 
Another option rather than the wall would be a chair and just resting your foot on that chair or stool. In addition to that, you can do the traditional quad stretch using your hand. Great job, let's switch sides. As a reminder, you can switch sides or do another set on your involved side. Modification options include the wall, a step stool, or using your hands. Squeeze those buttocks, tuck that tailbone under, nice tall posture. Keep that knee and that thigh in line with the opposite side. And relax. The next exercise is a standing hip strengthening exercise. Standing in your safe corner, although I'll be standing a little further away from the corner to demonstrate this. Feet shoulder width apart. Your more involved side, bring that heel, your heel together, rotate the leg out just slightly, lift it. You're bringing it back and out to the side. Really activating those buttock muscles. This can be a really tricky exercise for individuals that have challenges with knee control. So rest as you need, take breaks as you need, and shorten your range of motion as is necessary. Good tall posture, try not to lean. Relax. Switch sides or do the involved leg one additional set. Heels together, raise the leg, back and out to the side, about a 30 to 45 degree angle behind you. Squeezing that cheek. Really tiring if you're repeating this second set on your involved side. And relax there. Good work, everyone. The next exercise is a balance exercise to really drive home the importance of this strong, sturdy leg during the standing phase of walking. We're gonna stand on one leg, keep that knee unlocked, and you're going to try to balance. We're gonna aim for 30 seconds. Tighten that knee, not hyperextended, not extended, but tightened. Let's use that walker or mobility aid as necessary. Squeeze that cheek. Squeeze that cheek some more, keep it good and long. Don't let that hip pop out to the side. Activating all those muscles that we have already exercised today. Excellent, rest there. Repeat on the involved side or go ahead and take a chance for the uninvolved side to participate. Go ahead and begin. Keep that knee in line with the toe. Squeeze that buttock. Lengthen, strengthen, but don't hyperextend that knee. You should feel this in your quads, in your glutes, perhaps even a bit in your abs to help sustain this movement. A little wobble is normal. Squeeze that cheek even more to help stabilize yourself and relax. The last exercise in this workout is a plie squat. You'll want a nice wide base of support. Safe corner is optional and the mobility aid is optional as well. Same principles apply, knees out, drop your hips, squeezing those buttocks to pull yourself back up to standing. This isn't a deep squat, we're really focusing again on that knee control, on that hip strength as you come to a standing position. Really nice work everyone. Excellent, and relax. Way to go, everyone. Congratulations on completing the walking workout related to knee control. As a reminder, consistency with these exercises can help with that knee buckling or that knee hyperextension. If you're concerned whether or not this applies to you, talk with your physical therapist. Good luck and we'll see you next time.